When you take a look at Mars, you probably wouldn't think that it looks like a very nice place to live. It's dry, it's dusty, and there's practically no atmosphere. But some scientists think that Mars may have once looked like a much nicer place to live, with a thicker atmosphere, cloudy skies, and possibly even liquid water flowing over the surface. So how do you go from something like this to something like this? NASA's Maven spacecraft will give us a clearer idea of how Mars lost its atmosphere, and scientists think that several processes have had an impact. One of these processes is called sputtering, where atoms are knocked away from the atmosphere due to impacts from energetic particles. In our solar system, the Sun constantly emits high-energy photons. When one of these photons enters the atmosphere of a planet, it can crash into a molecule, knocking loose an electron and turning it into an ion. Ions by themselves don't do much, but when a magnetic field is nearby, they'll spin around the field, spiraling in the field's direction. Conveniently, the Sun generates a giant magnetic field that is carried by the solar wind. The part of the field that just grazes the planet can easily pick up a bunch of ions and launch them out into space. If the field happens to be in just the right place, however, it might pick up ions and fling them right back into the atmosphere at up to a thousand kilometers per second. The ions can then crash into other molecules and fling atoms everywhere like a cue ball in a game of pool. Some of these atoms can be knocked or sputtered into space, causing atmospheric loss. And over billions of years, this could have caused quite a bit of change, especially since the solar wind may have been more intense early in our solar system's history. Scientists think that all of this may have caused Mars to gradually transform from what may have been a very nice place to live into the dry, dusty world we know today. And MAVEN will study this process and tell us how it really works.